joining us back here at the Get To Go Finals. Now this morning, our teams went head to head in a whole lot of challenges involving both their brains and their brawn. Now they have come all together here at Barbecue Bay where things are really heating up. Oh, I'm quite nervous. Excited, we're ready. We did a sailing camp last week, so we're pretty um, sailing in our brain and on the mind. Well, first, we've got to eat the, the goo chops. The goo chops. Great source of carbohydrates and energy. Yeah, pretty confident about this because we practice quite a lot and yeah, we're really looking forward to it. After the goo chops, get out there, sail, kayak, do whatever, work some races. Great. <laughs> Thanks, Liam. All right, the teams are ready. Let's start this thing. And they're off into a world of crazy competition. The teams will each have turn sailing and kayaking out and around the course to earn points. The sailing is pretty straightforward, except there isn't a lot of wind. The kayaking is trickier. There are four points per lap if you can do it standing up, three points for backwards, and just one point for plain old normal. Like quite hard to stand up. Falling off so the like boat. just fast as a paddle Learn quickly that you have to sort of stand back on the boat a bit. Come on, Matt. Yeah, I fell out twice. <laughs> but it's all good. We're going good. Everyone tried to stand up, but they ended up falling off. Um, I went first, and it's a little bit interesting. Fell in about three times. Maybe more. So we're trying to catch up. It's, it's hard on it looks, I can tell you that. I believe you, Jeffrey. And the sailing doesn't look much easier to tell the truth. Most teams have given in to paddling their yacht, but New Plymouth is somehow way out in front, even lapping everyone. Yeah. Their secret is Demi and her sail pumping technique. It almost looks like she's going to tip the boat, but she's driving air into the sail and getting that boat moving. That's your 40 minutes. You can start the camp Yeah, we can get three extra bonus points if we catch that fully over. Yes, it's time to get really wet. They have to do a full 360 with their boat. Tipping it over is the easy part. Then they have to grab hold of the centreboard and... Oh, oh no! Tickbrenner have lost their centreboard. That's not good, guys. Here's Dumpton showing the correct use of the centerboard. Yep, it looks like Tucker Puma needs a rescue boat. And it's time to go home. It's time! Once we tallied up all the scores, it was a three-way tie. Three teams won the kayaking and sailing challenge. Trident, Whangarei and Waimea. So that's today's challenge, but how's the overall leaderboard looking? Trident have managed to stay on top, but others aren't far behind, and Taradale has joined the top five club. Now everyone is exhausted, and they need to get some sleep because tomorrow's challenge is going to be huge. It's going to make everything else they have done thus far look easy.